Hi guys, my name is Mitch, this is Eva, my friend, colleague. Uh, today I want to talk about helium and gravity and magnetism. We have a diagram here on our whiteboard to kind of explain a little bit what we're going to do, talk about. We all know as in a tree, there is an apple there, it falls to the ground, which is called gravity. When I was a little boy, one of my best friends, we were in his pool swimming in his backyard and we had a couple of balloons. We let the balloons go and they went and they went against gravity and they floated up. They didn't go down. That was very, very weird to me when I was young. I didn't understand. So what I did through the years is I decided to learn about gravity and I decided to learn about helium and why these forces of nature work this way. In doing so, I created the effect of a power source, which I'll get to. Now in magnetism, we have, as we all know, as children we played with magnets. You take two magnets, there's a positive side and a negative side. You put them together and they stick very quickly. You turn that magnet around and what happens is you create a force field in between those two magnets. What is that force field? We don't know. It's weird. If you can make that work for you and not against you, you can create power. That's how electrical motors are used in little motors. It's worked by magnetism. I came up with a theory for another type of magnetism, which I will be discussing later in a different video on how we can create energy and make ships fly to the moon, fly to stars, fly through the universe at a very fast speed worked on magnetism through inertia. It all has, it's all relative. It all has to work together in unison. I will explain that in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.